from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the best. Welcome back to the GDFL Netball Show. Um, we're going to have a quick run through our first round of games, which are starting today, all a little bit exciting. And I guess I'm um, a bit up in the air because we don't know who's in what team. Well, Madge does, I guess. <laughs> I do. I've got that unfair advantage <laughs> when we're looking at the sides, haven't I? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I guess all registrations and things have been done. Yep. Yep. Are there any changes that can be made now? I, you know that. Um, Pretty, pretty much no, it's pretty yep. much sealed up, but if you get you know, a late person coming in that um, yep. needs to go on your side, obviously, but you have to notify me pretty quickly. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, I, the first one we've got is Inverley versus Bannockburn, and I know that last year this would have been a, a game that we'd sit there and go, it could be a close one. Probably two up and coming teams, Inverley yeah. had a lot of young girls, a lot of young girls. Last year, I'm assuming they've still got a lot of young girls who stuck around. Uh, well, I could probably comment on that. <laughs> I reckon I did, we'll just ask um, her first yeah. for every bloody game. <laughs> yeah, no, go. No, I don't know. Uh, I did some practice matches uh, mm -hmm. for Inverley, uh, which I do most usually do for some other clubs as well. And um, yeah, they had um, some lovely young girls yeah. in the side. They were a strong side, yeah. um, but I have been involved in a bit of Bannockburn process um, with their selections. A few changes team. out there from what we mm -hmm. may have heard, that they've got a few new people out there. That we... Yeah, they have, because um, Mandy, uh, well, with back to Inverley, Mandy's not coaching um, yep. there, so they've, they're bringing up you know, the young girls, which is fabulous, mm -hmm. and Bannockburn, yeah, there is a few changes um, there as well which I won't oh, let any cats out of the bag or anything no. like that. But look, that will be a tremendous game. Yeah. Absolutely tremendous. Um, I think I might um, pick Bannockburn there. Right. There you go. No, I'll go with Madge. Bannockburn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you just jump on my, my coattails, Donna? Why not? <laughs> I, I, I don't know who, who the, no, the know. girls are that um, are in, yeah. in there at Bannockburn, but I know that last year in Valley, you know, they just missed out um, yeah. from making finals. I think that if all of those girls are still mm. there, um, yeah. That, that it's not going to be a runaway game, no. No, no, no. no, no. It'll be close and it'll be a really good and a really good discipline game too, which is great. Well, I'm going to go with Involi. I'll, I'll pick those yeah. girls okay. out there. Go on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that uh, one of my uh, one of our fellow Geelong Westers is out there playing B grade this year because um, she lives out there, Carly mm -hmm. Ross. So we wish her all the best. She as much is. As we, um, she is. I saw her in the practice yeah. matches. She's very happy. And... Yeah, we look. We support her 100% in great. going out there. She um, she lives out there. She needs to, to settle yeah, out there yeah. and whatever. So That's it'll be it'll be fun when we go and play her. So yeah. <laughs> uh, the next game, East Geelong versus North Geelong. Again, East Geelong is a, a team last year, made the finals, mm. um, but I guess Birdie's gone. You've got Nick Trainer coaching out there. Yep. Um, who's got lots of experience behind her. Um, really, yeah, look, I think East Geelong will take away. But however, you've yeah. got North Geelong who have got Judy Hewitt, the new coach out there. He's fabulous. She'll be great for our league, Judy Hewitt. Lovely so I remember girl, North Geelong last year, if I, if I recall, Fee, they were up and down, weren't they? Yes. Like they were yes. so inconsistent, we didn't years. know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when they played well, they played really strong. Absolutely. So I think Absolutely. Judy's been working on their fitness, um, which is really good. I yeah. think some of their, they struggled to sort of keep going through for the whole game uh, in yeah. the past. So, yeah. Interesting. Look, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of changes out at East Geelong mm. again. But um, with Nick training, I'm sure she's pulled in mm. um, some great players back and into she's that. She's playing, so she's playing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, playing coach. So yeah. Again, she's um, when she's on, she's uh, mm. she's nearly unstoppable. She's she is good. I'll I'll tip East as well. Donna, yeah. I'll go North Geelong. <laughs> Not on my coattails. No. <laughs> good on you. It's really hard doing this in round one, I guess. Um, the next game, which is going to be another thriller, I think, will be Bell Post Hill versus Werribee. And I guess it's um, two of the stronger teams of the yep. competition. Um, I'm sure that that's not going to change. I don't think there's been too many changes in the Bell Post Hill lineup. All Werribee. I All think they're still very strong. Same. Yep. The Stewarts are still out there. There was rumour of them going to St Albans, St Albans but no. Part. I did hear that, yeah. but no. But no, no, they're there and, um, you know, Maria, you've yes. got her now. And, yep. uh, yeah, no, they'll, they'll be strong. It'll be a great game, that one. Yeah, it will be, and I guess we'll be watching again Kim shoot away, hopefully. Kim Martin just popped those in from everywhere. Yeah. She's, she's just beautiful. And she yep. is a lovely girl and, you know, yep. so thoughts in that yeah, game. Yeah, no, I... 
as much as I'd like to go with Valpo's Till, and um, but I, I think they'll be too strong, Werribee. I do. I think yeah, I'm going Werribee. matches for them too, and they're very strong. Yeah. yeah. Um, look, I'll have to tip Werribee in that one as well. Yeah. It's a. I'll go for it. Yeah. Um, the next one, Thompson versus Belmont, and I, I guess again last year, two teams who probably worked really, really hard to, to get up and look to West are in the same boat mm. and I think they've been doing quite well. Just you on that fee, that's not at, at Thompson, just for people to okay. know. That's at St Albans, played at St Albans, so yep. a lot of people may not know that. So they haven't got their home ground advantage. Either advantage so please remember that that's at St Albans. Why is that? The ground um, can't be played on. Um, okay. Yeah. Not at the scratch. Yeah. Right. So that's going to be that's in the football. So yeah, the football oh, okay. side there too. No, that's just for this week. Just for this week. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. The other change that I might mention as well is that um, you've got Corio Winch. Mm -hmm. That's actually at Winch or C. So it's Winch Corio and Rand Twelve is swapped. Okay. Yep. There you go. Hmm. Um, and new coach at Thompson. Uh, yes, a new coach there um, from Bowen Heads. A player from Bowen Heads, I think. From mm -hmm. Years ago, so yeah, I'm not don't know too much about it. Mm -hmm. Williamson, Charlie yeah. Williamson, I think offhand. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's great for Thompson. Absolutely, put on them. Absolutely. And what about Belmont? Do they have many changes this year? Or Pretty have? much the same. Emma Jones um, yep. is there. He does a good job. So yeah, look, that'll be a good game. I think it will yeah. be as well. Thompson, um, maybe for me. I'm going to go with Belmont. Yeah, no, I think I'll go with Belmont too. They're yeah, great side. And Look, I think, again, there's going to be some absolute... It's some toss-ups. I think it's going to be hard to pick. Yeah, and yeah. again, not knowing the whole team, and I think, you know, that it, as we just said um, with Jason, you're not going to know until the first mm. five rounds as yeah. to what's happening in, in the competition. Right. You're right, yeah. Um, and then we've got Winchelsea versus Corio with that swap there mm -hmm. out at Winchelsea. It's from Winchelsea, from Jason's from Jay point of view. You can't go past it, can no. you really? Look, yeah. they're... All the same for him? Uh, yeah, mm. the, the, you know, there's there's a, there no, a few changes. Four out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were counting how many were out, but, <laughs> you know, there, there's just people who are going to step up and, and have had the opportunity to train with some of the girls that have been there They've just years. got strength throughout oh, the absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. So yeah, which, yeah. and Cario obviously going to have a few changes. It'll be interesting yeah. to see how they go this year. Again, yep. they were um, in the finals last year mm -hmm. um, to see where they're at. Yeah. Who's coaching out at Corio? Uh Amy Barton yep. um, is coaching and she's a tremendous player and you've yep. got your Barton girls and you know, they've still got their, their tremendous players as well. Yep. So they'll do all right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It, right. it will be interesting. Which are hard to stack up against oh, anybody, it's but you know, they'll give them a fair go. Yep. Good. Um, and, and the last game, Donna, will be yes. Geelong West versus Anarchy, oh. our home game today. So. Yeah. You're going. No, you're going, Fee. <laughs> We're winning today. Well, oh, look, oh, look, I'm not going to say that. Look, I mean, I really want Anarchy to win. But mm. um, as I said, you know, lots of changes, different structures mm. and, and stuff like that. If the girls can gel, they'll, they'll do really well. Yeah. And you guys, like, if you, you were as strong as we were last year, yeah. and you got a couple of changes too, haven't you? We yeah. do have, uh, yeah. yeah, three new girls into our so grade. I think it'll be a good game. I think that'll be a really good game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's going to be another hard one to pick, but maybe West, yeah. I might yeah. go yeah. West, I don't know. Thanks. So. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see who's out at Anarchy and what's going on out there, and I guess we'll have more time. It'll be great. Today. It'll be a great yeah. day, and, and yep. like I said, good luck. All right, have a lovely day today, girls, and good luck to all the girls out there. And it's over to Dick and the boys on the football side. Yeah. readers from all around your lawn. I'm going to tell you how football is strong.